Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn chapter coal and petroleum. So this is the second part. If you have not watched the first part, so make sure that you watched that part first and you can find the link in the description and on the i button here. So without wasting our time, let's get it started. So in today's video, we are going to know the story of coal, which basically means that how coal was formed. So the story starts here. So millions and millions years ago, when the plants and animals died, their dead matters were buried under tons and tons of layers of rocks and soil. Then it start forming a substance known as peat. So this is the substance known as peat. So peat is nothing but a dark fibrous content which is formed after decomposition of plants and animals but it is not really decomposition of dead plants and animals so it is formed when decomposition fails to keep pace with organic matter it's the first stage of converting plant material into coal so there are specific condition for peat formation that is water logging lack of oxygen lack of nutrients and highly acidic plus low temperature environment so it is found in many types of wetlands few of them are marshes swamp food plains and coastal wetlands may contain peat however after the peat formation is 3000 to 4000 mm the different kind of ecosystem starts forming the places where snowfall and water flow happen their water logging may happen and also the soil will contain the reduced level of oxygen acid is also produced in that particular place these conditions initiate the formation of coal peat is altered by the action of pressure of layers of soil accumulating over thousands of layers physical change and the chemical change that will happen is that microbes that causes decay in the presence of and absence of oxygen at different places different plants will take different time for decomposition of plants and animals pristine plant parts that's the root the bark the scores etc to decayed plants to decayed products and even charcoals if the plant get fire during accumulation peat deposit typically in waterlogged environment where plant debris accumulate peat bogs and peat swamps are few examples in such cases bacterial decay decreases and accumulation of plant debris increases the bacterial decay decreases just because of available oxygen. The important thing here is that anaerobic decay is slower than aerobic decay. The formation of fuel from peat depends on the nature of animal and plant debris is there and what time elapsed and accumulation of earth over the peat layer is there and even the condition of pressure and temperature developed in the decay environment for example if the oil and the natural gas is formed from the decayed plants under water then after the water body is vanished due to heat pressure and bacteria it compress and cook the organic material under layers of silt under most areas a thick liquid called oil formed but after cooling it it forms a rock which is known as cap rock but as it is much more deeper and the density is higher so it prevents the cap rock to seep on the surface so just because of this cap rock most of the oil and most of the natural gas is produced today in the same way cap rock is also produced but in production of cap rock and coal there is a lot of difference as coal is produced due to dead remains of plants which were millions of years ago and also 
coal production is done in the area where there were swamps and water logging. So, sea contains a lot of quantity of sulphur. So, when the seas and swamps dried up, it the coal was rich in sulphur. But today, scientists are working to remove the sulphur from the coal as sulphur can become the pollutant for the air. The material which formed fossil fuels varied greatly during time as it was buried under each layers. Due to these variations and the time taken by the coal to be formed, coal was divided into different types. Depending upon its composition, coal burns differently and of course it releases different kind of smell plus different kind of energies. The four basic type of coal are anthracite, bituminous, subbituminous and lignite. So if we talk about lignite, it is soft in brownish black color and least energy is released among these all. So most of the part of the world's mine is covered of this coal known as lignite. So if we come little bit more up, it is subbituminous. So it is in dull black color and more energy is released than lignite coal. So if we come to bituminous, more energy than subbituminous coal is produced and it is also known as soft coal. Now if we come to our last but not the least coal which is anthracite, it is the hardest kind of coal in the whole world and releases large amount of heat when it burns. Unfortunately, there is very little anthracite left in the whole world. So finally guys, today's session is over. So we are going to meet soon with another part. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. And also if you enjoyed this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.